So we spent all of last video in the Mail tab of our back-end settings of Outlook. We're actually going to do pretty much the same thing in this video. So let's navigate back there really quick. So we're going to go back up to the File tab here. We're going to go back down to Options. And then we're going to click on that Mail tab on the left-hand side here. And now what we're going to be focusing on are our tracking options when it comes to our emails. So if we go down to the bottom here, to Tracking, now, delivery and read receipts help provide confirmation that messages were successfully received. Not all email servers and applications support sending receipts. Now, a delivery or a read receipt are, like that says right here, receipts that actually help provide confirmation for certain emails. Now, if you've used, for example, an iPhone with iMessage, you may have noticed read receipts before or delivery receipts. And they can be very helpful for showing someone when you've actually read a message. Now this can be useful, for example, if something is time sensitive, if you need to be sure that someone has seen something, you can actually send a response back letting them know that you've read that email. So for all messages sent, you could request, for example, a delivery receipt confirming that the message was delivered to the recipient's email server. Now this would just come back from their server saying, yes, the message was successfully delivered. You could also request, request a read receipt confirming the recipient has viewed your message. Now again, this can be very helpful, especially if it's something that's more time sensitive. For any message that you've received that includes a red receipt request, you can actually choose to ask, this is on by default for example, ask each time whether to send that red receipt. So this would be up to you whether or not you want to divulge that information. Then you could actually use always send a red receipt or never send a red receipt. You can automatically process your meeting requests and responses to meeting requests and polls. You can also automatically update an original sent item with receipt information. Now this is very helpful if you're choosing to send your receipts. You can update your tracking information and then delete responses that don't contain any comments. And then after updating your tracking information, you have options to move your receipt, for example, to the deleted items folder because that red receipt is actually going to come in as a separate email message. So I actually recommend you keep that on because as soon as you've updated that information, you can move that receipt to the recycling bin. So now we're going to click on OK. And what we're going to do is actually open up an email and see how, if we don't want to set those settings sort of for every email, how we can actually do it one email at a time. So if we go up in the upper left and we create a new email, and then we go into our options here in our email ribbon, and we just look at this tracking section. Now right here we have request a delivery receipt and request a red receipt. And those are for this particular email. We could just click on those if we want that. And we could just send this email as we would any other. And immediately we will know if that email has been delivered and when it's been read by our recipient. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here and click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.